let's get to a board with the trendiest way to snack. Of course, we're talking about charcuterie boards. Mm -hmm. Charcuterie. Charcuterie. I've been working on how to say that all morning long. And those Insta-ready platters, perfect for following the Winter Games in Beijing. Uh, like me, I'll be doing that. And of course, the Super Bowl as well and Valentine's Day. So all these things coming up that we can celebrate and eat together. So say cheese. Sammy Mila is here. She's a Better Homes and Gardens food stylist. Sammy, good morning to you. It's good to have you. We already started getting our plates ready. <laughs> good morning, guys. Thank you so much for having me. So um, you're putting together the like cheese board right now. Walk us through some of the steps here. Yeah, absolutely. So cheese boards come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. So depending on your board, it's gonna depend on how much you're gonna need. For me, I like to have a lot of unique flavors, a lot of unique textures. So having three to five cheese options is always a must. Going from hard cheeses, soft cheeses, and even blue cheeses. Um, and then you can see here that we have an array of cured meats, some crackers, and some fruits just to break up those salty bites. I want your board. Your board looks better than our board. Yeah. <laughs> Once you have all your picks, how do you put it all together? Yeah, so to start my board, I always like to start with a few anchors. And I'm not just talking about you three over there. I'm talking about the cheeses. So I get my cheeses down first, whether it's the hard cheese or the soft cheese. After the cheeses are down, I come in with my dishes. I've got jams and honeys. And then comes the cured meats. The meats can be a little difficult just because they can be difficult to grab. So what I like to do for, with prosciutto, for example, is cut them in half crosswise and then give them a little roll, kind of like this. Oh, so once you that. have this, you just, yeah, you just pile it up. That way, when your guest comes and wants a nice bite of prosciutto, it's just as easy as picking that up. See, Absolutely. it's all about the roll me, there like because you get that long piece oh, sometimes. Yeah. You don't be yeah. dangling that over the board. <laughs> exactly, okay. Hey, Sammy, I went straight for the Valentine's yeah. Day sweets here. So with that around the corner and Super Bowl around the corner, how can you bump up these boards? Oh my gosh, great question. So for the Valentine's Day board, I really played into the theme. I have lots of roses, pinks, and reds. Definitely amped up the chocolate here. Lots of sweets for your sweet. <laughs> I also broke up all of our sweet bites with savory things, kind of like these salted pretzels that have been covered in chocolate, and even a wheel of brie. Come game day, right? Super Bowl's just around the corner. I filled my board with all of my favorite game day appetizers. Chicken wings, pretzels, cheese dip. To really drive home your team, your team morale, you can use cupcake liners with your team colors to really let them know who's going to win the game. Sammy, I love putting together a good charcuterie, but I'm not very good at it, so it sort of just looks like a Lunchables. What is your <laughs> pro tip for us novices when trying to put together a charcuterie board? Definitely variety. I mean, try things that you've never seen. Try things that are very in season, like figs and star fruit are always fun additions, especially for guests that have never tried them. And then you just kind of have freedom to build the bites the way you want to. Something sweet, something savory, something salty, and honestly, have fun with it. There's really no right or wrong way to do it because it's gonna turn out great no matter what. I love how Gio was telling us before the show that he was cutting back on sugar, and then he just had like <laughs> six cookies. cookies and a bunch of donuts. <laughs> donuts are killer. Yeah, you know the boards are rocking. <laughs> Sammy, thank you so much. Uh, so great to have you. We appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for having me. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.